Welcome to the Vet Exhibitor Manual walkthrough. The Exhibitor Manual is your guide to all the physical and logistical aspects of the show. It is a key resource for all exhibitors to make the most of your experience at Vet. Your digital presence at the show, Connect at Vet, is available to access through a separate platform. You will receive an email closer to the show to set up your profile and get started with Connect at Vet. This guide will run through the Exhibitor Manual to help you find key information, show you the key steps to complete, and identify what you need to think about during your preparation for the show. So let's get started. Firstly, you can find your exhibitor manual by logging into the exhibitor zone. You should hold a username and password for this. If you do not, please contact us to get you set up. Log into the exhibitor zone, then click on the exhibitor manual button, which will take you through to your exhibitor manual. On the home screen, you will find the information we hold for your stand. Please read this information carefully. If anything is incorrect, please contact us at this email address so we can update your information. If the details are incorrect but we are not informed, we cannot be held responsible for information appearing incorrectly on site. So make sure this is all present and correct. On our homepage, you will also find the menu navigation on the left and the search bar. The search bar, like any similar function, lets you search the whole site for what you need. You can search for anything by typing into the box and clicking search. For example, let's use electrics. Results will then display all sections that mention your search word. You can then click on See Full Text and you will be taken to that section of the manual to read all the details. Next, we'll take you through the different sections of the navigation bar. Let's start with checklists and forms. Here you'll find a list of tasks, forms and deadlines to help you in your preparation for the event. The list is divided into compulsory and optional tasks and forms. Compulsory forms must be completed by all exhibitors, except the space only form which only needs to be completed by exhibitors with a space only stand. Optional forms need to be completed if you require those services. Please take note of the date shown in the due date column so you don't miss any deadlines. Late or on-site orders will incur surcharges, so you'll have to pay much more once these deadlines have passed. Choice of items such as furniture, floor, etc. will also be limited, so make sure you do not miss out on what you want or need. To keep track of your approaching deadlines, you can arrange your checklist by due date by simply clicking on the title. Alternatively, to see which forms are due in and in progress, click on Status to arrange by status and see which forms you have started, submitted and still have to complete. To complete the forms and update the status, click on the form title. Let's use Health and Safety form as an example. Here you will see a link to the form. Click this to open. Most forms will take you to a new page, but some, for example the risk assessment, will open as a PDF, which will include an email of where to send the form. Fill out all the details as required. After you've completed your form, don't forget to click Submit. You will not be able to submit the form until all of the fields are complete. If your form isn't fully complete, you can save your progress by clicking the Save icon. Once you are back to the previous page, you will see the status of your form will have updated. If it's a PDF form, you will need to do this manually. Choose from the Your Status drop-down list so you or your colleagues can keep track of your progress. So that's our checklist done. Let's move on to the timetable. The timetable page shows all the dates and times you can access the halls for build, open and breakdown. This information is key for you and your contractors to know when they can arrive on site. For example, on Saturday the 18th of January, access for space only stands over 30 square metres begins. Then on Tuesday 21st of January, our shell scheme stand access starts. Please note all the dates and times here as this will dictate your activity on the show week. Next up, let's look at your stand. This section gives you all the information you should need when preparing your stand and activity at BET. There are several options here, so let's explore. General Build. This provides information for all of our exhibitors and general details to brush up on during your preparation. This includes things such as our policies on children attending the show, details on build and breakdown, and late working. We then have sections for each of our exhibitor types, which will contain more detailed information depending on which type of stand you have. This includes shell scheme, space only, startups, and show ready. Let's take a look at shell scheme. This page shows you all the information you need for your shell scheme stand. For example, stand building within your shell scheme, electrics, and graphic dimensions. Please read each section carefully. If you intend to build within your shell scheme, you will need to submit your build plans along with a risk assessment, method statement, and construction phase plan to essential events for them to approve. You can view build regulations in the space only section. So let's explore the space only section further. This is where our space only exhibitors will find all the information needed for designing and building your stand on the floor space you have booked. Let's take a look at a few examples. Carpet. 
All space only stands must apply and fit their own floor covering. Complex structures. It is the stand designer's responsibility to decide if a structure is complex or not. There are a few examples listed here. If your stand design is complex, it will need to be approved by our structural engineer for which there is a charge. This fee includes the stand plans being checked and approved pre-show and on-site inspection throughout the build until it is complete. Our general space only regulation sections refers to your obligations under the Construction, Design and Management Regulations 2015, whereby the focus is to design construction projects to ensure that safety is at the forefront of every stage. There are details here of our stand plan approval company. All space only exhibitors must submit the construction phase plan along with your stand plans, risk assessment and method statement to essential events for approval. Failure to do so will result in build not being allowed to take place. This section outlines the rules and regulations as set out by the venue and local authority for building any type of structure, whether it be on the show floor or in a meeting room. The list here outlines all the information you need to include in your submission. It's important to note that approval must not be assumed until written approval is received from essential events. Details of where to send your stand plans are also listed here, along with the submission deadline. It's important to note the height restriction for space-only stand build is 6 meters. If you do decide to build to 4 meters or above, your stand will be deemed as complex and will incur an additional charge for the Structural Engineer Approval Service. Further information can be found in this section that covers regulations on building, platforms and ramps, presentation areas and rigging. Walling in refers to closing off of an open side of your stand. All open sides must remain open by two thirds of the total run, so only a third of an open side can be walled in. Startup zone. This section applies to the exhibitors that have booked a startup pod or startup stand. Startup pod. Startup pods are located in the top of the north hall in our startup zone, which also includes our innovation theatre. Here you will find information on what is provided as part of your startup pod, including the size of your space, graphic specs, electrics, and Wi Fi. Startup stand. We also have our startup stands, which are shell scheme stands located across the show. This section takes you through what is included in your startup stand package. Show ready. Show ready is a simple, cost effective, and completely sustainable solution for your space only stand at BEN. This solution includes stand structure, seamless tension graphics, carpet, power, and lighting. All health and safety paperwork is done for you, and all project management covered. If you have a space only stand booking, please speak to your BET sales representative for further information or contact us at exhibitor at betshow.com. Our health and safety homepage sets out Hive Group's health and safety statement. At the top of the page are the key sections related to health and safety at BET. Please read these sections carefully as they are very important to ensuring a safe event and safe working environment. CDM is the Construction, Design and Management Regulations 2015. This covers designing with safety at the forefront of every stage of build. This section covers your responsibilities under this Act of Parliament. Please read this page carefully, as well as each of the links here. These will open essential forms required to take part at BET. The site induction covers all the do's and don'ts of being on site during the build and breakdown phases of the event. It provides safety guidance on personal protective equipment, working at height, what to do in the event of an accident or emergency, moving vehicles, and also provides information on the event timetable and welfare facilities. This document must be shared with all of your staff working at the venue during the build and breakdown times. Next up is some general information on health and safety which is again, very important to your preparation. Items of special risk are items such as steps, ramps, laser beams, smoke effects, working machinery, rigging, public participation activities, or activities that attract a crowd, for example. It's important that you notify us if you have any items of special risk on your stand, as we have a responsibility to notify the venue and the local authority 28 days prior to tenancy. Please complete the items of special risk form by clicking on the form link. This can also be found in the checklist and form section. Your method statement is the process from start to finish of how you will construct your stand. This section covers everything that should be included in your method statement. There is also a link to a method statement template should you require any help in writing this. This section explains risk assessments and guidance on completing one. It's the responsibility of every exhibitor to complete the health and safety form. It's a declaration of your intent to work to safety regulations. It is also the responsibility of every exhibitor to complete a risk assessment to cover your activities at the show. If you have a space only stand and have not booked a show ready stand, it is your contractor's responsibility to complete a risk assessment to cover their activities throughout the time that they are working on site. 
This section talks you through all the stages you need to consider when compiling your risk assessment. There is also some further guidance in these forms, so if you need any further help, please download these resources. This next section covers the health and safety consideration of various items you may have on your stand. For example, batteries, which are strictly prohibited, plus items such as candles, strobe lighting or vehicles. It's also important to read this section to understand your responsibilities regarding health and safety. It's worth paying particular attention to the fire resistant materials. This section refers to all materials used either for construction, displays or features being fire retardant and meeting British safety standards. If you're intending to work at height, it's important you read this section on ladders. It covers the correct use of ladders for working at height. It's worth noting that ladders are not permitted to be used for work at a height of 4 metres or more. You will need to use a working platform for this. Further to this, if you are planning on working at height, it's essential that you read this section. It covers all the safety aspects of working at height. All work at height must be covered in your risk assessment. This section answers a few frequently asked questions. If you have any queries that aren't answered here, please contact us at exhibitor at betshow.com. That's all for health and safety, so let's move on to our next item on the menu. General information. The general information section covers everything from accommodation and AV hire to playing music, courier services and waste management. It is listed in alphabetical order and can be jumped by clicking on the letter of your choice. For ease, you can also hover over each letter of the alphabet to see what's listed. Let's have a look at some sections of note. First up, badges. All staff members must register for a badge. There will be no admission to the show during any stage of the week without a badge. This includes contractors during building breakdown, plus any personnel attending during these times and opening of the show. Contractors need to show their badge, either digitally or printed, at the door to the halls and this will be exchanged for a wristband to gain entry. Staff working on your stand during the open period will need to wear and show their badge at all times. Next, collection of goods. This provides information about removing your products at the end of the show. All exhibits and displays must be removed from the halls by 7pm on Friday the 24th of January for all shell scheme stands and 4pm on Saturday the 25th of January for all space only stands. Any goods left in the halls after the deadline will be deemed abandoned and disposed of as rubbish. Do not leave any goods unattended before they have been picked up by your courier. We cannot be held responsible for any unattended items going missing. Please read this section carefully and take note of the timings for your collection. This section provides detail on any items you are having delivered directly to the venue and what to do if you have items being sent from overseas. Please note the specific delivery address here which must display your name and mobile number along with your stand number. Deliveries must be taken to your stand, so the stand number is essential for your label. Neither the venue or organisers can take delivery of your items. And finally, let's take a look at waste. This section gives advice on waste collection during the open days as well as the disposal of rubbish at the end of build and breakdown. Please note that any waste left behind at the end of the build or breakdown period will be recorded and a disposal fee will be charged back to you post show. These charges will be invoiced directly to the exhibitor. To order bins for your stand, there is a link here to the web shop. Waste collection is an essential part of our wider ESG efforts and to ensure effective recycling and waste disposal, we need your help to achieve that. So thank you in advance for your cooperation and contribution to our goals. Up next, venue information. This section is divided into Excel services and visiting Excel. Excel services deals with all the services provided by the venue, from the business center to lost property. The most notable for your stand will be the internet section. All internet services are provided and ordered with Excel. To order hardwired internet connections or Wi-Fi hotspots for your stand, please do so by going to the checklist, then the optional forms checklist, and clicking on the internet and telephone section. It's also important to note that we have a Wi-Fi policy at BET to encourage improved Wi-Fi connectivity across the show, and there is an internet declaration form you need to submit. Let's take a look. This can be found in the compulsory form section. You will see there are three options. You are ordering internet via Excel. If you're intending to bring your own Wi-Fi, you do not require any Wi-Fi and will not be bringing your own Wi-Fi equipment. It's essential you fill in this form, tick the declaration boxes and submit the form. The final section to note on the venue services is pipe services. Pipe services cover the temporary supply of gas, water and water waste. It's worth noting you will need to have a duct within the confines of your stand to enable the delivery of any of these services. All services can be ordered by the checklist and order form section. It's worth noting that Excel operate an access booking system called Voyage Control. 
This is for anyone needing to access the lorry way to unload items for their stand. Voyage Control will open for bookings in January. We'll notify you when it is live. If you have a few hand carryable items to take to your stand, we advise you to park in the underground car park and access the halls via the boulevard. Parking details can be found at the top of this section. Parking can be booked online via the link here. Our navigation bar also has a page for key contacts. This page gives you the contact details for all the official contractors working at BEP. For example, Aztec are our official provider for AV equipment. Please feel free to get in touch with them to discuss your requirements and prices. There is also floral, graphics and stand plan approval, to name a few. Our final section is the FAQs. This section answers many of the frequently asked questions associated with exhibiting at BEP. However, if you don't find the answer you need here, click on the support section and get in touch with us on the contact details provided to get further information and support. Please contact us at this email address. If by any chance you need to work offline, you can download a PDF version of some of the manual we have just run through.